vision behind this is to change the global perception of Pakistan. We have an opportunity today through these social media influencers who've got followers in the millions, we can show a real and true image of Pakistan to the entire world. We are bringing global influencers from the travel sphere to Pakistan and taking them on tours across the country. Our first tour, we went to the areas of Swat and Chitral and the Kalash Valleys and down to Karachi and Gawadar. And now on our second trip, we're going towards Hunza and Skardu and the Gilgit Baltistan area. This initiative, we have completely privately funded it as CPIC, as a private organization. There has been no government involvement in the initiative. We are doing this fully ourselves, arranging it all ourselves. It is just a passion project. Through tourism, not only are we attracting money into Pakistan's economy and foreign currency into Pakistan, but we are changing that global perception people have of Pakistan. We are changing the country's PR. And the knock-on effect of that is so significant that alone, if we can just change Pakistan's global perception, if we can change the country's PR, the country can make a complete turnaround, both in terms of the economy, in terms of foreign direct investment, everything is a domino effect. It's all linked to this one factor. And the way we identified it, our shortcut to changing Pakistan's global perception is by bringing these social media influencers from across the world to Pakistan to enjoy the country and to share their experiences with their followers in a real and organic way. You know, these people are not actors. These are real people sharing their real experiences, something which cannot be reenacted. Let's take the steps to be the change that we want to see in the country. Let's take the steps to make the Pakistan that we want and show the world a true and real image of Pakistan. Day in Pakistan. Okay, so yesterday we started in Islamabad, in the capital. We were supposed to fly all the way over here, but that didn't happen because the weather was bad. So instead of a 45 minute flight, we had to do a 12 hour drive. So we drove from the capital, all the way up through these winding roads over a river to end up here. Here to here it took 12 hours. Today, we're driving from here, from where we are right now, like Bisham, all the way up here to Chilas. This is going to take another 12 hours. And then we're going to drive all the way up to Hunza Valley. It's all mountains from here, all spectacular. Also, we're going to see K2, which is the second highest mountain in the world. Nan Nan Katai. Nan Katai. What is it? It is. It is. Ah. Yeah, that's Nan Katai. Nan Katai. Okay. Should I make a commercial? <laughs> These are really good. You should try them. It's like a mixture between marshmallow and biscuit. Okay, so we decided to hang out on the roof while we drive through these beautiful mountains. There's no seatbelts on the roof. That's yeah. part of the fun. Honk it, honk it, honk it, honk it. Sorry. So what, what highway are we on? Karakoram Highway. And is this a safe highway? Uh, yeah, I guess. They, yeah, it's pretty safe. But there were a lot of deaths making it. Yes, yes. So when they were making the highway, 812 Pakistanis and about 140 Chinese died. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty bad. But uh, it's safe, yeah, it's safe to travel. But yeah, there's landsliding. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Hello! 
So possibility of landslides, possibility of rocks falling, possibility of us falling. <laughs> Possibility of cameras falling. Cameras yeah. falling. Camera. Risk worst. is high. Risk is very high. Yeah. Man, this is awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love things that are a little dangerous. <laughs> things that like get your heart pumping a bit. Because these are the stories you remember, right? Yeah. The time yeah. you were on the rooftop. Exactly. On the Karakoram Highway. On the Karakoram Highway. I've never done this and I've been here Amazing. many times. Yes. Okay, so we have been driving for three or four hours just through the mountains non-stop and it's just been breathtaking, like spectacular. When I came out and there's this huge waterfall behind me, I, I have goosebumps, like I, I literally got goosebumps just seeing it for the first time and moments like that are why I love traveling, seeing something so spectacular that that you get you get chills. Right? Yes. Okay. So we have been stranded on this road for five hours. Um, we literally traveled maybe two or three kilometers in five hours and been stuck because of landslides and multiple landslides, so they had to get them cleared. But it's been a slow, slow creep through these mountains. And we still have like another, I don't know, six, seven hours ahead of us. And we have barely had any food. We had some cucumbers and watermelon. How's the lunch? Lunch is fresh, but there's no restaurants around. There's barely any water. We're not gonna make it, guys. We're not gonna make it. But luckily, we bought some cucumbers from a guy driving by. So this is this is lunch. And it's not bad. We stayed in high spirits, which was the most important. Oh. The views have been so spectacular though. Ashik. Ashik, yes. What an adventure this trip has been so far. No one could have predicted what was going to happen. Flight getting cancelled, landslides being stuck on the side of the road for like five hours. It, it's just been non-stop adventure and real, like raw, raw adventure. That's what we experienced in Pakistan. And the next video is just going to get crazier. We drive these Jeeps on the side of a mountain next to a cliff. It's like the most dangerous highway in the world. And I can't wait to show you guys. There's just, there's incredible footage, there's incredible sights. We go like hiking up a mountain and we go camping on the mountain. Oh man, so much adventure ahead. Okay, stay tuned. Next video is coming up.